What's going on guys? It is 2.19 a.m. Today I am going fishing. Today is the start of a, of a uh, kind of a little road trip, about five day long road trip. I won't be home for five days. Going down to Kansas, it's about like I said, three and a half hours away. I'm going down here um, to fish for the day and I'm driving a couple hours west and then I'm hunting and blowing stuff up for two or three days. It's gonna be interesting. I can already tell you I've got quite a few fun fun activities planned for the week. Uh, I had to kind of get away from Nebraska, you know, falling through the ice and uh, catching flare fish on half frozen ponds just really wasn't cutting it. So today we're going after the biggins. Well, I am in Kansas actually, not even in Nebraska. Look at that lake. Look at the sunrise. We're on a, on a power plant lake today. It's uh, 7.15, I think. I got up around 1.30. You guys, you guys saw I didn't really vlog much. I mean, it's pretty dark. There's not really much to vlog when it's pitch black the entire time. But I'm chilling here with Kansas angling experience, right? Yep. Yep. We're doing big things today. We're doing, we're doing big things. It's a little windy. I'm trying to figure out how to get away from this wind so you guys don't hear the wind. Um, it should be fun. This is, uh, this is a lake where you catch largemouth, you catch smallmouth, uh, what else can we catch here? Big drum. Big drum. I'm just gonna go after a drum today. It's gonna be a drum fishing episode. Um, okay, it's really cold. I'm gonna quit talking and get, get some warm clothes on, but it should be kind of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I, I really hope it's worth it. It should be. Those are the, uh, the baits I'm rolling with today. We got two. A little, little beaver bait. We got a big head wobbler, and then we got a, got a little swim bait action. So those are the those are the four things. Where's my, where's my uh, little whipper snapper thing at? This is what I'm. This is part of the day. What I'm going to be rolling with. Little little pocket fisherman action. I don't know. I'm probably going to end up breaking this thing in, in, in about a minute. But I'm going to give it a shot. My goal, my just my entire goal for for this fishing trip today is to catch a fish, preferably a smallmouth, maybe a drum on on this little pocket fisherman deal right here. Okay. What do you think I should start with? I'm throwing a jerk bait, but I would go with either a wobbler or the tube since we're on the riprap. Okay. All right. Water temperature is 57. Air is negative 57. Oh, God. You got a big one? That's a big one. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Do you have a net or are you good? It's a, it's a big something. Holy crap. He's going to. There we go, baby. Woo! That's a good one. First fish, baby. Not even a. Not even the species we were targeting, but hey, we'll take that. We'll take that dude all day long. Hate it. Nice. First fish, baby. Sweet. That's why we come to Kansas. There's a fish. That's a big one. What do you think it is? I don't know. Wow. Yep, I'm thinking no on the bass for sure. <laughs> Oh, that's a big one! Look at how he ate that food, too. Oh! Oh, this is so embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> Wiper and then a drum, dude. Oh my gosh. The smallmouth master has, <laughs> has changed species on me. A little drum master McGee over here. <laughs> Look at that fish, dude. It's actually a red, this is a freshwater redfish, the Kansas redfish. There you go. Kansas yeah. redfish, I like it. All right, let's get a release on this guy. See you, buddy. Oh. Got him? There we go. He almost ripped the rod out of my hand. Did he? Smoke? He smoked it, huh? I think it's a I got one. You got one? I got one. We got doubles. We got doubles, son. Oh, dude, it's a big one. Oh, God, I got a toad. We got to cross each other again. Oh, God, I got a big one. Oh, gosh. Yeah, oh try yeah. Try and try and stay off the back. Okay. Table. Yep. It mine might be a large mouth because it's pretty good sized. Holy crap! Wow. Oh dude, I got a huge wiper. You got a wiper? Oh oh, I got a good yeah, large mouth. Dude. Okay. All right. Oh. I got I got a large mouth. You got a wiper, dude. You're anti bass today, bro. Oh god. Woo! Look at that. We got oh, we got a bass and a wiper in Z net. Oh dude. Straight, on straight doubles here. on wobblers. Here we go, boys. I got a bass. Got a big freaking wiper. That is, uh, that's awesome. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the release on this dude. He's bleeding a little bit. All right, see you, Felicia. 
We're uh, getting the release on the old wiper. Nice, dude. Oh, nice, dude. <laughs> oh that's how it's done. We got doubles. <laughs> I'm sure this lens looks a lot like Parrix, but I caught a bass. I want a small mouth now, but I caught a bass, so I'm happy. Oh, God. I'm sitting here trying to get cameras situated. You want, you want the net on this one? Oh, yeah. Look at the size back. Where's he at? Okay, here's the net. Okay, we found the juice, boys. <laughs> we got we got a big old largey. They just went up caught in a while. Oh, baby. Oh. There you go. Son. Look at how he ate Look, that we, just, we just found the juice. We literally just found the juice. Choked it. Found it. We on them. Drop the pulse. Getting the release. This is just, it just turned on, on fire right now. We're, we're crushing it. Get the release on that little large mouth there. The moment is now. The pocket fisherman. Oh God, I don't even know how to work this thing. How do you work this thing, mister? How do you work those things, mister? Oh my God, what the? Oh wow, solid eight foot there. This is actually a lot more difficult than I expected. So I apologize guys if I don't. What, what happened here? What? Oh, what the? Oh, there we go. All right, come on, please be a bass right there. Brian should have let Flair kick. Holy shit. Okay, all right. I don't think this is gonna happen. I think it's frozen. Yep, okay, sorry guys. Screw that thing. Yep, yeah, no, that was a waste of 40 bucks. Did you just catch one? All right, yep, I give up on life. Oh, he come off on the deck. I give up on life. Whoever, who makes this protocol? What the hell are you thinking? This, all right, I'm just gonna set this down for now. I'm gonna get back in the juice. Where's my actual pole at? Where's my favorite rod at? This is gonna be, this is gonna be, this is gonna happen right now. They're busting, we got, we got these wipers. Is that what you think it is? Yeah. Got one, got one, yep, I got one, baby. Oh, they're schooling and I just got one. Woo! White bass. Dude, I haven't caught a white bass in so long. Look at this thing. A little white bass action. See, buddy? That's cool. You can see them schooling around. You throw in there, and bam! They eat it. There's one. That feels bigger. Yep, that's a bass. Woo! We got a bass. We got a bass. Stay down, little guy. Oh, my. Woo! That's our average size today. Yeah, it is. There we go. We got a... A little largey there. Catching some uh, some wipers, some white bass, and a little bit of largemouth. Once I felt that current ripping down there, I'd... There's one. Yep, that's a bass too. Yep, that's for sure a big one. Oh God, that's a that might be a wiper. The big. Oh God, dude. Oh. <laughs> Dude, it's a big one. It is a giant. Oh. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh my gosh! I get so excited catching these freaking fish. I haven't caught fish like this in so long. Oh, freaking fishing in February in the Midwest. All right, one more picture. God dang, son. Woo! I get excited when I catch fish like that. That was a solid three to three and a half pound largemouth in February in Kansas in Lord knows how cold. I mean, just, just to give you guys an idea, look at the line. That line is frozen on those poles. Look at his jacket. I'm just frozen. Just like frozen, frozen solid. It is absolutely freezing outside right now. Absolutely freezing. We're catching fish though. Like I said, we found the juice, power plant lakes. They're, they're pretty much key this time of year if you're gonna fish in the Midwest. All right, all right, let's go catch another one. All right, guys, so I'm switching it up. I'm gonna throw a little little wobble head, a little creature bait on there. Not not because the uh, the wobbler wasn't working, but you know, I'm getting really tired of catching too many fish, so I'm gonna just try to challenge myself a little bit and catch one on the wobbler. Yeah, and you're on me, and I got a fish. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, what is? It? What? I don't know. I just caught a fish. <laughs> I'm like completely in shock that I just caught that fish on the first cast. Oh, baby, yes! Nice. Another big largemouth. Oh my gosh, I was just saying, I wanted to see if they would eat the uh, the wobble head. And, well, I think that answers that question. Chunk largemouth, look how, look how fat those things are. They're just, 
they're gorging themselves on shad and crawfish and other things. We are just uh, we're just cleaning up shop right now. See you, James. I hate to inform you, Brian, but we've hit our wind limits. What? We got our leaf? As I was about to finesse these bass with this swim bait, you guys maybe or may not have heard, we just got called off the lake. Well, we are ending this video here. We're gonna head out and go to a different lake and actually go for a different species, a completely different species, something I've never even filmed before. I wanted to try it out while I'm down here, so if you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Uh, it was a lot of fun, although we didn't get a fish a ton uh, this morning on the, on, the, on the juice lake, as I call it. Uh, we still caught a lot of, lot of fish. I mean, hopefully you guys took something out of this video. If you did like it, leave a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. Subscribe and check back in like a day or two, maybe three or four or five, six days for the second video that we're filming later this afternoon. Also, check out Kansas Angling Experience if you want to experience Kansas angling. That's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Son, you don't work them, they work for you.